Hello there and welcome into a new video. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you some more neat tricks uh, with Debian Trixie. This is my new series uh, and you can check out my, um, will be linked somewhere above, uh, my uh, playlist just for Debian Trixie. Uh, in the past video I have showed you how to make uh, a sub-volumes with butterfly system on Debian but you may be rather be a person who wants to do the encryption of your butterfly system on Debian 13. Um, however, uh, if you're one or the other person, well, just pick your uh, video. I have both. If you are both of these uh, persons, both of these types of users, then just watch uh, both of these videos. Let's go ahead and uh, do the encryption here. So just start up the installer and fast forward to the part where you are partitioning. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, we are now starting up the partitioner. Uh, let's go to manual method this time. Choose your hard drive here. Create a new empty partition table on this device. Absolutely, yes. Go to the free space, create a new partition and choose the size of your FE partition. Uh, let's make it 128 megabytes. I think that should be enough. If you want to be on the safe side, you can make it bigger, but I don't think so. Uh, use S. You're going to choose your FE, FE, FE system partition here. There we go. And we are done with this one. Uh, now switch uh, further down to the rest of your free space and you're going to create a boot partition. So this one you may want to make slightly larger. So let's make it half a gigabyte and we are going to make it mount point boot uh, because we need a unencrypted boot partition uh, because we are going to encrypt everything else. Uh, use as you can choose whichever um, file system you like here it won't make much of a difference overall um, done setting up the partition here and voila now for your crypto setup uh, create a new partition just choose the entirety of the remainder of your partition size of your hard drive size just press enter here and use as physical volume for encryption this is important. This is going to be like your encrypted hard drive, but in the form of a virtual one. Just go ahead and press done setting up uh, your crypto. Now go ahead up there and press configure encrypted volumes. Do you want to write the changes? Absolutely. Yes. Just click finish here. Do you really wish to erase? Yes. Uh, I would advise you to let go this erasing procedure to finish all the way. It is going to make your encryption a little bit more secure. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to press cancel because I want to make this tutorial as short as possible. For the encryption passphrase, please choose uh, as complex password as you can possibly handle. Because the more complex one, the better protection against uh, various brute force attacks if you lose your laptop or, or anything of the sorts. Uh, for now, I'm just going to use a very simple one, but please do not do that. Uh, continue Linux, continue, use weak passphrase. Unfortunately, yes, uh, but once again, don't do that. Here we go. Now it looks as we have two hard drives. Uh, so on our main hard drive, our physical hard drive, you have your UEFI partition and you have your boot partition and then you have your crypto. However, your crypto here has a, some of the free storage on it. So let's go ahead and press enter here. Okay, use as 
butter file system journaling file system mount point is going to be root mount options choose no at time and compression continue done setting up the partition so the way we have your uh, layout here uh, is that we now have your uh, root file system encrypted there is one thing missing which is your swap space uh, in theory you could have uh, made another crypto here but that would end up being unsafe uh, if you would not um, I mean if you wouldn't encrypt your swap space then it would be uh, unsafe uh, so instead of this you may want to maybe use ZRAM as an alternative to swap or maybe uh, you can just use a swap file so for now we are going to continue without the swap space and we are going to make a swap file in the next video finish partitioning and write the changes do you want to return to the partitioning menu because you don't have swap no write the changes yes and voila let us finish the remainder of the installer and then i'm going to show you uh, what we have Here we go, we are now booting our system for the first time and it is asking us for a decryption password. So let's type it in. Crypt setup successfully and now booting is going to finish and now we can log in. Hopefully you can see this on your screens. It is a little bit of a tiny font here. Here we go, I have logged in into the same machine via SSH so I can easily zoom in on the font here. Uh, let's cut at its uh, first setup just to see what is going on here. So you can see here that we have DevMapper VDA3 Crypt. This is our block device uh, which is mounted on root and it is already a root FS sub volume of butter file system so at this point you can just use the same device to mount slash home in the same way i have shown you uh, in the previous video uh, which was titled something like butter file system with sub volumes so you can now add another sub volume for home and stuff like that uh, so there you have it this is going to be the video for today uh, in the next one, we may add some swap files, uh, we may add some swap partitions. There are many ways uh, which we can handle the swap configuration, so that's going to be interesting. Thank you very much for watching this video and um, like and subscribe and stuff like that. And I'm gonna see you in the next one.